Hi guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial with Any Gillycraft. And on today's tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to style the Arewa Gilly. So guys, this is the second clip and I uploaded the first clip and the first clip was actually a live that I could not conclude. So I had to just make the tutorial in full. All right, so here I'm picking fans, side fans. For those of you that have not watched the first clip, kindly watch the first clip before you watch the second clip. And so for the Arewa style of Gilly, I have to pick fans then make sure my fans i mean make sure my pleats are well set okay so i'm still picking fans but i'm trying to rearrange my pleats trying to rearrange my pleat so i continue picking the fans I'm gonna pink the fans till I get down. So um, this style of gilly is also similar to the two-sided um fan gilly that I that I made a tutorial of. is is on my channel. It's a purple gilly. Yeah, it's a light purple gilly. Um, for those of you that are not getting how I'm doing this, kindly watch that tutorial. Okay, so. After I'm done picking my pleat, so I make a twist. I make a twist. I twist to the front. I don't twist to the back. I twist the fans to the front. So I have to tighten them up and key them instead of tying. So um, this style of ghillie, you don't get to tie. You just get to pin your ghillie down. But the twist is very important because it helps to hold down your, your fans. And so you continue. All right, so um, now we're set with the one-sided fan. Um, I mean the fan on the left-hand side. And so now you, all you need to do now, you want to start picking your ruffles. So you twist. So for those of you that don't know how to make ruffles, kindly watch my ruffles tutorial. I'll put the link on the description below. Kindly watch that tutorial so that you can get how to pick the ruffles. So I make a lot of ruffles on this side. okay so now that we're done with the first side so you want to make sure you repeat the same procedure on the other side so the same thing i did on the first side i'll be doing the same thing on this side which is the right hand side so you can actually get a hand on the ghillie because it's going to you can't undo everything so you need someone to help you hold so then you pick four pleats to hold down to hold down the layers of your ghillie just pick four pleats then you start picking your pleats so you pick your pleats before you start picking your fans
So for those of you that would like to know how to tie the Arewa gili, I would advise you to practice the two-sided fan gili and also the ruffles pleat gili. Because if you don't know that, you cannot tie the Arewa gili. So once you practice, once you learn how to tie those ones, then you can learn how to, to style the Arewa gili. So basically, the Arewa gili is not for starters. This style of ghillie is not for starters. So if you're just starting your journey um, on how to tie ghillie, please watch my round tutorial and other tutorials. So guys, after you're done making your fans and twisting, so you want to come to the front, you want to come back and start picking your ruffles, just as we did for the left hand side. So you want to make your ruffles really nice because that, that has the beauty of the whole ghillie. So make sure you pick your ruffles correctly and make sure they are well, well pinned. All right, so after you're done making your ruffles on the other side, so what you want to do now is you want to match both sides together. You want to match both sides together. So you kindly match it together, making ruffles to gently. Make sure you don't scatter your, your ruffles, I mean the ones you've made. So after you're done matching together, then you want to make sure your gilet is well set. So you adjust both sides, but currently we're still matching both sides together. All right, so I'm making sure the left hand side is well set before I match together. Alright, so you want to make sure they are neatly joined together, then you do your finishing touch. So after the finishing touch, our Arewa is ready to go.